let's um <laughs> let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This one's going to be um the rest of these are kind of like mostly in order and whatnot. These are kind of like some of the smaller stuff. We went over the went over the big stuff. Uh, Life is Strange, the remastered collections coming to Switch as well as True Colors. Um, very excited for True Colors. I'm not sure if I'll be playing it on the Switch, but a uh, little mini rant about this. Um, so I, I understand that Life is Strange 2, um, I don't know if it's 4K, 60, or whatever, but like obviously as a sequel, it runs a little bit better, looks a little bit better than the original games. But it's very odd to me that the remastered collection for... Um, for Life is Strange only has the first game and before the storm and they're getting like improved visuals. They're getting new animations, um, facial capture and whatnot to, uh, I don't know if it's even bringing it up to par as much as like, just make it better across the board. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, I, it, it kind of actively annoys me that they're not giving to that same treatment. So to, to make it also better with improved visuals and, uh, I'm just like man it's life is strange to really hit a very specific chord with me growing up as mm -hmm. um of a, a child of an immigrant and just like pe people and we talked about it i believe last time um last show just like i think a lot of people need to play life is strange too because it's just like yes this is what it's like growing up as a minority in uh in american like it may seem cartoonish when you have a big angry white dude going you i don't I don't even remember exactly the stuff, but like it, it's kind of cartoonish in the way that they approach you with racism. But it's like at the end of the day, I'm just like, yes, it might seem cartoonish, and unrealistic, but that's exactly how that shit goes down. There, there's a wide spectrum of racism that mm -hmm. uh, that people can face, especially from my background. Um, the the way the way that what was I going to say? Uh, it was like the way that I that I understood is that um, it it does suck but at the same time i think for looking from like a fiscal perspective uh life is strange 2 is the newest of bef before the recent one it's the newest one of the series and i think that life is strange before the storm and life is strange the, the first season is is old enough to 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 need a to need a proper remaster and also like they're not losing as much money if they were to include Life is Strange 2 in that bundle. Um, yeah, like, there's no, there's no doubt in my mind that at some point down the road, they're going to have a Life is Strange, like, collection, like, box set. Mm -hmm. um, like, like, that's why it kind of, like, cooled down on it over the last day, because, like, when me and Mesa were talking about it, um, I think it was yesterday or the day before that, I was just like, damn, people really care more about blue haired girl being a really shitty friend to you than they do about a Mexican kid going facing a lot of racism. That's kind of fucked up. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I, I can see the the financial reasons and whatnot. It, it just feels weird to have it labeled as the collection. And then, you know, you have the protagonist from Life is Strange hanging out with uh, the new protagonist from three. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I guess fuck my boy, Sean. We can only have one minority on the screen at a time, I guess. Yeah, I see. I can see that point. That's that's shitty. That's yeah, that's real yeah. shitty. Either way, play Life is Strange. It's a good series. Yeah, uh, play it. Play, play all the, of them, even though the advertises, even though the advertises advertisers. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. Um, <laughs> Boy, life sure is strange, huh, Corey? Yeah, <laughs> now I was going to say, even though the advertisers uh, and and uh, planners of the collections aren't necessarily thinking of the social aspect of it but more of the fiscal aspect of it so oh, also, and that's the thing and that's the thing they like to tote around like oh it wasn't personal it's just about our bottom line oopsie it, like yeah e even that like optically isn't a great look um like mm -hmm. i can see why they didn't put me tell tell me why even though tell me why is fucking great because it's literally a different name oh yeah it's um, not part of the the universe so yeah and any thoughts on uh, Life is Strange, or tell me why, Atma? Uh, I haven't played them, so I, they, they're another on my list of things that I need to play. Uh, I, I, I really want to get to two, uh, more than one. I, I actually, I, oh, I, okay, I take it back. I played, like, the first couple episodes of one, and, like, it was just okay. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't, it didn't hit me the same way 
Uh, it did a lot of other people, but I do want to try to and tell me why as well, because I think they will be a little more uh, what I'll be interested in and like mm. things, stories I want to see told. Yeah. I, and I will say this. Uh, Life is Strange 2 has like six different endings. Yeah, I, I got it. insane. <laughs> they're all kind of sad in their own different way but i gotta really i there, there I would is like to one, there's one there's one that's just like ultimate happiness like it is still kind of sad but like there's an ultimate happy one you know is it the one where you i don't say anything atma <laughs> hasn't played it <laughs> <laughs> I, i'm trying to think of a way to say it like super vague We'll talk about it later, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's you can good. talk about it. My earphones are out. Oh my gosh. Go, go, Jose. What? You what know you when the say? aliens invade? And <laughs> oh, yes, the aliens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good up. All right, put it back in. Put it back in. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Jesus Christ. I love you, Corey. You're, you're I love beautiful. you too. <laughs> you're a beautiful individual. Um,. Guardians of the Galaxy is also coming to the Switch, albeit mm. it's um it's only going to be streaming. It's not you're not going to be able to play it natively. And apparently uh sw- Switch streaming games aren't necessarily a great way to do it even just compared to like normal streaming. And then I I guess you can get like a third party ethernet adapter, but like natively you're not going to be able to have like a direct input to um to your router or whatever. So even with that on top of that, it's also kind of a worse deal. Because why come out with a better console when you can just make convoluted ways of people to do it themselves? <laughs> I, 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 I think it just like basically comes out. If you have like any other way to play this, just do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Has, has like, I know they did this for Hitman 3 and Control. Like, has there been any sort of feedback on whether it was actually worth it to even do that? Or I honestly don't think most people who bother to even give the feedback. Because yeah. I think Resident Evil 7 was like one of the first ones they did. I could be wrong, but yeah, I, I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't bother. Just, just play it on like anything. I, else. I didn't. I didn't even know there was Switch streaming. I, I was unaware. Yeah, yeah you've <laughs> learned. You're more knowledgeable. Mm-hmm. If you if you gain enough knowledge, you can convert them into fuel units, and then it, you can it, get it, Lamborghinis <laughs> in the Hollywood Hills, Corey. <laughs> I just I the when I think of Nintendo Switch, I don't think of games like Control or like Resident Evil or Doom Eternal. Like I think of like Mario games or like you know uh in like indie platformer games or like management games or you know simplistic relaxing games. You know, it's just I mean you can't think, play XCOM on there. There's nothing stress stress free about that. No, true, but. <laughs> Although apparently, from what I understand, it's still better to play XCOM other places. And this is coming yeah. from a person who loves XCOM. Like, just get it on PS4 or Steam or something. I'll mm-hmm. tell you what. Next time I play XCOM, I'm gonna name it after. I'm gonna name the soldiers after all the hosts. We'll see who who makes it, who doesn't. Oh no! Last time I did it, I got my brother killed. Just, I I didn't realize cars can explode. Uh, maybe <laughs> move them away from there. <laughs> it didn't go so rookie well. mistake. It's okay. You'll learn. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Maybe I might have to stream that candy. Maybe they'll, they'll be the next one. Mm-hmm. Um, 